If you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, I offer same-day personal tarot card readings for $20. You receive your reading the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know of details is in the description box below of this video of how to book with me. Thank you so much. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 53 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see. What does spirit want to tell you the most today in regards to your current situation of who you're dealing with? What are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you? Now, keep in mind, Gemini, this is not going to resonate with all of you. This is for Geminis who are single and for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, okay? But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. Okay, and I do offer same-day personal readings for $20 and... Um, I have another tarot channel at Val444 Tarot and a vlog channel at Val Smib. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Gemini, so they're pretty defensive and guarded and irritated and get aggressive and feisty, but then they also still want you around in a way where they probably should put some boundaries up with you and towards you, but they don't. And it's like they don't create space with you and them when they should, and then it makes them all crazy and have all these problems. Yeah, and it looks like here they're tired of waiting. They're getting irritated and impatient because they keep waiting and waiting and waiting, but like nothing's happening here. But they're getting impatient now with you. Okay, well, though, whoever this is, it's kind of like they do have love and care and emotions towards you. You know, they like you as a person. They do, they, they, they do love you. They are emotionally committed to you, even if you guys aren't together, you know. And that's what messes with them the most. So something is not real. They're not really being honest and real with you. They're, it's messing with their emotions. They don't truly feel emotionally successful or happy. They have to put up a facade and keep going in life. Put a, put a fake mask on. Because they care about you. Yeah. And sometimes they think about just blocking you for life and being done. But then they get confused and they don't know what to do. They don't know which way to go. Things get stalled. And then they get really feisty and irritated and aggressive and mad. And then, you know, they try to use lust, thinking that'll work. It doesn't work. Then they feel insecure. And then they have no passion towards you, you know, but then they really do. It's like this whole back and forth thing. Well, that's the thing, though. They are meant to be going through this and dealing with this and doing this. And they do feel like it's de destined to be. They feel like you're meant to be there, you know, with them in their life here. Sorry, my nose is getting itchy again. Yeah. Hmm. And that's what depresses them, though. Life is changing and making changes here. Although they feel like you guys are meant to be, but nothing's going on with you guys anymore. And it's settling in the pain the d depression the dwelling you know the the energy of like whatever they have not dealt with before you know in the past about you and them is now coming up to the surface and they're having to deal with that they're dealing with it as best as they can Oh, <sighs> so then they, because it's so painful, then they get really pissed off and aggressive with you. Maybe they like to bully you, but it seems playful. They're trying to, they're taking out their aggression on you because I don't know, maybe you broke up with them or something, or maybe you did something, you know, in the past. I don't know. Um, they're irritated. They're so angry and frustrated and annoyed and confused and all of the above. Yeah, 
and it causes them like they don't want to be independent i heard i just heard in my head i don't want to be single forever so i don't know what that means for them but it's like they 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 don't want to really they have to do this on their own now business wise everything their life and they it's like I don't know. It's almost like you did everything for them or you were something so big for them that like now they have to do it themselves and they're just going through it. It's it's a mess. You know, with them having to go through this here. And it's like either they don't really want to work with you or share financial abundance, anything with you anymore, or maybe they're still relying on you financially you know um financially dependent on you possibly only you'll know i don't know uh yeah well to really research what they're truly good at what they're meant to do and their skills it's not really something they want to do they may be trying to force different manifestations to happen that aren't meant to happen and won't happen between you and them I don't really get the sense they're doing magic, honestly. For some of you, maybe. That's only if intuitively you feel they are. But it's not It's it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. Well, it's causing them to not really like you or have love for you anymore or romance with you. They're not happy with you. They're very upset with you. And they're freaking out like you know are they wasting their time with you they're kind of like why am i even here why am i even bothering with this so investing with you it's like they want to do everything with you and invest but even they know it's a waste of time for them and it's not the greatest thing they should do Yeah, it's kind of like, um, they may not really want to work with you and invest with you anymore, and even, and, but they're also still scattered and scatterbrained because it's like, there's just too many things going on all at once. They feel like they're wasting their time, their money, their energy, and their efforts, but they still keep doing the same thing over and over, and then it gives them a sense of overwhelming sense of anxiety about all of this. Okay, well, it looks like it's because they still want an opportunity with you, a new chapter, a new beginning with you. But that causes them to feel so emotionally just, uh, they're very upset with you, emotionally very unhappy very upset, very moody, you know what I mean? The thing is too, is one of you is just really nice and loving and just being there for them. And the other one is just like not having it. And I feel like it's them. And so then that makes them not wanna work with you at all or invest with you or like share abundance with you or try to find a way to get all that out of you and from you. But really it's because they don't, they're not happy being single and independent, okay? And that's what I have for you. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wait right there before you click off. First of all, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this helped you. Don't forget that I offer same-day personal tarot readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. And by the way, for more tarot readings, if you'd like, please check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. I have a bonus tarot channel for the general collective at Val444 Tarot. And if you want to check out my vlog channel where it's about our personal life, you'll see a lot of my husband there as well, at Val Smib. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you so much. Bye.